In the earlier video, I have shown you the introduction to Taguchi design. I have used this example and um, calculate the mean and standard deviation and uh, find out what was the best um, combination that we should use to manufacture these tires so that it doesn't get affected by these environmental conditions. Now I have these four environmental conditions and then these basically two environmental variables are out outside variable or external variables and then um, I have two, um, these are also called uncontrolled variable and then I have three controlled variable which is this is our uh, or internal variable this is also known as internal array and the outside one are also known as the external array so in this uh, common Taguchi analysis I have just calculated the mean and standard deviation found out that this is the best optimum level for the tire manufacturing process in this video, I'm going to show you how original Taguchi analysis uh, was done. It still is done today. Um, so in Taguchi, um, original calculation, it uses noise signal to noise ratio. So in, in Taguchi design, it consider signal as the mean and then uh, signal is the mean value and the noise is something that we don't want is the deviation is the craziness is the standard deviation is considered as the um, noise so what Taguchi did it calculated signal to noise ratio and then if we have more signal to noise ratio meaning that our mean is high and our standard deviation is low so this is what we want so Taguchi calculated, so the process of calculating the signal to noise. So there are three different ways we can do it. One is we can optimize this. In the end, what we are trying to do is uh, which combination of these internal variables would be best for manufacturing these tires. So Taguchi provides three formulas. One is based on largely the best. In this case, the tire life. So the higher the tire life, it is the best. So some cases we may have a smaller is the best. So if we calculate the signal to uh, noise ratio where we assume that the larger is the best. So higher tire life is better. So then we use this formula. If we calculate it based on the smaller is the best um, then for example engine noise that's not desirable we want a smaller noise is best then we use this formula we can also calculate the signal to noise ratio based on some set of target so maybe we have a competitor tire manufacturer we want to compare our tire against their tires so with the target mean and with our variation so we can also calculate the signal to noise ratio now the log came from the idea of that you know that the sigma is actually square is sigma is actually the square of the formula contains some squares so by using log it kind of give us the a uh, little bit comparison number easier to think type of situation so if we uh, go show you this is basically i have created to calculate this formula so these are not so this was the original response we have had before it's the same data set so you can go back and check so i have to do one divided by y square so in this cell i just did y square and then here I did one divide by and here I have wrote this formula minus 10 log blah 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 and then got all of this now if you look at this the signal to noise ratio look at this row this has the best signal to noise ratio so on this combination I will get the highest mean with the lowest standard deviation look at this um, using this formula where I said is smaller is better now in this case the opposite because lowest tire life is not desirable that's why you see all this negative number now here look at this if you ignore the negative this is again the best by this analysis look at against some target value still that combination is the best so what we have got 
previously from the common Taguchi analysis the same as if you do it by the larger is the best smaller is the best or again some target value you get that same uh, answer now let me go back to the original Taguchi idea which was optimize the parameter find the robust parameter so what is the robust so what Taguchi does it basically it compares each factor separately so this is the noise to average noise to signal ratio for the low level of A so you can see this is the low level of A so I just average that and then this one is the high level of A so when you run at low level of A you get this value so on the other hand if you run on high level then you get 70 noise better uh, signal to noise ratio more mean high um, lower standard deviation now for variable b a2 which was the rubber quality um, you can go back here and check what are those um, things are so a2 was the rubber quality now rubber quality as you can see if you use the high quality rubber the in signal to noise ratio uh, increases meaning that your mean value goes up and then the standard deviation goes down so that's good now if you look at the third variable which is the tire construction let's say radial or bias ply uh, we don't know the what it is just the construction method of the tire now if you change from low to high you don't get much impact from this variable so what that indicates is probably this is already optimized so this is the robust parameter already now on the um, variable other two variables if you change from low to high it makes a huge difference now remember this was calculated from a log scale so 2.9 is a quite big number so when you change the rubber quality from the you know low level of rubber quality to high level of rubber quality you get very significant amount of better conditions so um, and this decision does not change based on what kind of method you use so you can say on this one larger is the better on this one was optimized based this smaller is the better now you see this negative value because of in this case more tire life is better so that's why these are negative but if you d ignore that the difference is still uh, the uh, variable B is running the least optimized you can say so the high level of rubber quality will provide significantly better uh, tire life or noise to s better s noise signal to noise ratio if you look at this analysis target value you get the same response so uh, once again the the third variable is already optimized the first two variables well in this case kind of changes so this one is not that optimized however you see in B it's um, it's still if you run from low to high you get a huge um, impact of that variable so signal to noise ratio significantly increases meaning that the mean value goes high and then the variation goes down so um, this is how you calculate these are basically formulas so you can go I can show click on this and show you the formula I basically multiply uh, so to calculate y square I that basically y times y and here I just wrote this formula so you can see this um, to calculate this and this is the average of the um, four low levels this is the average of the four high level same for V average for the low level and then this is the average for the high level this is again average for all low of C this is low of C low of C low of C things like that same way we have calculated this one this with the target is very easy in this case we don't know any set of targets so what I did instead of a target we have used our own mean as a target that's why the results kind of a little bit uh, looking crazy however so this is the formula you can see once again this is the average of the first four uh, low level of A this is the average of high level of A like that this is the average for low level of B so that's low level low level 
and you can see that so there is how you calculate this um, noise to signal ratio uh, and get the best optimized parameter uh, based on this number so higher to summarize higher signal to noise ratio is the better that means high mean low variability